Hi there, this is a Nexus 5 running the L Developer Preview of Android. This is going to be the next version of Android that's coming out later this fall, but since it's pretty early on, we're just giving the developers a taste of this, so we're just seeing uh, an abbreviated version. Um, a lot of the options here, a lot of the, the, the features and apps are all the same as what we've come to expect on KitKat. They haven't been changed yet, but we have seen a few differences. For example, there's the dialer, so you can tell that there's a few different user interface elements. Now, uh, if you pull down the notifications, you've got a whole different design style here, and you can continue pulling it down for the quick settings. That way you don't have to you know, worry about if you're on the left or the right hand side. You just got all that on one continuous uh, uh, pane. Uh, also, you have the brightness adjustment settings here. The settings also look a little bit different from what we're used to with KitKat or before. As you can tell, there's certainly a different design language there. Uh, there's touch feedback, so you get down to the bottom or the top of your scrolling, then you see um, a little bit of a, a, a feedback there, so you know you're at the top or the bottom. Now, right now, it's pretty low battery, so it's on battery saver mode. And one thing that we noticed is that you don't get quite as many of the animations, so that's why we're not seeing it right now. Um, one other thing to point out is the recent apps menu. So one thing that they were pointing out in the keynote this morning is that you can have individual instances of apps and not just the app itself, if, if you prefer. And by that, what they mean is uh, you can have the Chrome browser, you can have uh, specific tabs in here as, uh, as their own thing. So instead of having just Chrome, you can go into specific tabs for Chrome. I don't know how that's going to be when you have 50 or 60 different tabs open at the same time, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, now. Uh, one other thing to point out is the lock screen here. Ah, there we go. The, uh, the lock screen has the notifications right there, so you don't even have to worry about pulling down the notification shade uh, when you are pulling it up. So that's pretty neat. You can also do a, a slide right to get into the phone or a slide left to get into the camera. So uh, a few new settings. Now, like I said before, there's uh, a lot of old stuff, only a couple new things here, um, like I was showing you the, the dialer, for example, the calculator is a little bit different. So um, from what we're hearing is this is going to just come trickling out, uh, we'll, we'll see more and more apps as time goes by. So this is just a nice little taste of the L developer build. Thanks for watching. So we're looking at Google Play Music here, but we can pull up the app switcher and look at all the other apps, the 10 apps we have at launch today that are Android Auto compatible.